Before we get started, you should know that every feature, unless mentioned otherwise, can be automated, so you'll be able to control everything in real time. Okay, diving right in, let's play some notes to hear what we get right out of the box. So let's see what just happened here. We have our violins on timeline one here, violas on timeline two here, cellos on timeline three here, and basses on timeline four here. We also have cycling regions. More about those later. The default global rhythm pattern we heard is here, in perpetuum. And its 64 events are shown here. Just so you know, every time I refer to the term global, that means that the edit will happen on all four timelines at the same time. Anyway, this particular rhythm has no rests. It's all filled in with notes shown by these bars. If we want rests, we would just draw the notes bars all the way down. And if we want some of the notes to be louder than others, we can raise or lower the bars without going all the way down. Over here, we can overlay 16 interesting velocity patterns onto whatever rhythm we have going on at the time. If we want to scale the timeline velocities, we can do that here. All right, so let's check out some accents. For this, I'm going to draw in all the velocities to be the same. Okay, so here we have accents happening every four events, with the accent style set to subtle. Let's go for a stronger accent and choose medium. Okay, so let's check out the other accents. We can reset the pattern's default with these buttons. Let's now choose a different global rhythm pattern. Notice that this global pattern has different patterns for each section. These differences are intentional to provide interesting and sophisticated palettes. And if you want, you can choose different patterns for different timelines for some pretty cool results.
Also, we can copy and paste timeline patterns into each other. For example, we'll copy region 2 of timeline 1 here and paste it into region 4 of timeline 3 here. In fact, we can paste into any region of any timeline. To clear the clipboard, click the yellow button where we originally copied. And we can randomize the patterns using these dice buttons. So let's check out the other articulations. So, we just used the Global Articulation Chooser. That will always set Timeline 1 to Violins, Timeline 2 to Violas, Timeline 3 to Cellos, and Timeline 4 to Basses, all with the chosen articulation. But what's really cool is we can choose any articulation or section and put it into any timeline. So, for example, let's say we want to have the cellos and basses play pizzicato, while violins and violas remain playing spiccato. We can also change the note duration here. Basically, it tightens or broadens the notes, and whenever you change articulations, the note length is remembered. So here's where we'll talk about the cycling regions. Just like in the original kinetic strings, each timeline has four regions. By default, each region has 16 events. So when you hold down a note or chord, each region 1 through 4 will be played and then repeat. That is, if the notes are in the timeline's range. However, if we want to turn off the cycling, we would turn off any of these cycle buttons. So in this case, when we hold the note or chord down, we would only hear the 16 events of region 1 over and over. And we can change the boundaries of each region using the region flags here. You should note that these region length changes will be preserved into the current global pattern. So for example, if we go back to the in perpetuum pattern, we'll see that all of the region boundaries have not changed. But then if we go back to the pattern we were editing, our changes will be remembered. If we want to start our sequence with different regions, we can do that too.
While it's a bit obvious that we can solo or mute timelines with these buttons, we can also use key switches. Just hold down a key switch to solo a timeline. Holding down the highest A, MIDI note 105, solos timeline 4. The highest B flat is timeline 3. Highest B is timeline 2. And the highest C is timeline 1. Over here, we have a set of popular rhythms in addition to the 40 built-in presets. And as always, you can reset the current global rhythm preset using these buttons. A brand new feature for Kinetic Strings Plus is the Compose page. Here, we have four pitch timelines that correspond to the four pattern timelines below. Since there's nothing in these pitch timelines, we'll hear whatever notes we play. But watch what happens when we draw into these timelines and then hold down some notes. Each event gets transposed from whatever notes you played to the amount of transposition in these pitch timelines. The transposition is up or down an octave. But there are a lot more built-in features here that will create truly inspirational templates on which you can freely edit. For starters, we can transpose our edits here. Copy and paste, randomize, set a maximum or minimum amount of transposition, and of course, reset. So now let's check out some built-in ostinato presets. How about trying a half step up? We can use a menu bar or a slider. Okay, so notice how two notes are not transposed, and then two notes go up half a step. That's because we're using the default ostinato pattern, which is two notes blank, two notes transposed. But as we can see, we have a bunch of other patterns to choose from. Underlines mean a non-transposed note, and X's mean a transposed note. So currently, every note we play will be transposed exactly the amount chosen. So if we play a bunch of chords, it might sound cool, but it can be a bit creepy, if that's what you want. But what's really cool is that we can constrain to any major or harmonic minor key over here. So we'll choose C major and play the same cue. All right, so let's check out C minor while we still play in C major. Mm -hmm. 
but we've saved the best for last here. We can step record our own custom patterns. Let's start by stepping in the violins. We click the step button here and then go for it. Each note we play is a step. If we want to rest, we click rest. Notice that not only did the transpositions take place, but also velocities and rests got inserted into the main pattern timeline below. So if we like what we have, we click keep. Undo will keep the step function armed, but deletes what we did. So now if we start stepping in, it will start but at the beginning of the timeline. Now, to easily make sure all sections are playing the same thing, we can simply paste what we did into the other timelines. We access the mix page here. The first new feature is that we can now change articulations whether globally or per timeline without having to go back to the home page. Also, we can now mix each timeline's notes. For example, let's say the basses are just too loud at C2. We can change that here. Three exciters have been added for interesting effects. Some are more punchy, some are compressed, etc. As mentioned before, just about every feature in Kinetic Strings Plus can be automated. Most of the time, it's by using Contact's MIDI Learn process. But some features can't be automated that way, so we've made an automation page where you can choose MIDI controllers for those. Okay, MIDI drag and drop feature here. First, we click the MIDI icon. We see it's waiting for us to play some notes. When we're done, we click here. Now, we can name our MIDI file if we want to. And drag it from here onto a track in our DAW. We can also drag it onto our desktop to save for other uses. Once we've finished, we click Done.